Oh, good morning, peeps. I was about to go back to bed, and um, more Amazon drama has happened. And being as I am keeping an ongoing update on what it's like to work with Amazon Advantage and the other things that I work with, um, I thought I would go ahead and do a quick video. Uh, quickly on the Amazon Advantage front, uh, I'm still getting their form email every day about how they're working on the problem. And when it comes to the book and my copyright claim, I haven't heard a word, not a peep, not a sound. It's been several days. I don't know how long it takes. So uh, it's actually looking like I am going to have to shut down printing of this book and re-upload it to my ISBN, to a new ISBN to basically lose money to get it into a new ISBN and hurry up and get it into the system under me so no one can steal it again. That's what it's looking like. Yeah. Uh, that I'm going to take such a drastic measure when you shouldn't have to when you prove that you're the one publishing the book like I did. Uh, I have an account with Amazon Handmade. I've had it maybe a month. And I got it because I have art prints that I put out every year of my artwork, and I like to do charms and jewelry. Um, the charms and jewelry is all a hobby, but I end up with this backlog because I only go to maybe one convention a year. I don't really do craft fairs or anything because there's nothing in my area that matches what I do. And uh, so I opened up an handmade account. Now, the rumor's going around that the Amazon Warehouse FBA loses your items and <clears throat> how can I put this I decided to give them a shot and see what happened so in a box I put some milk baths and jars they're large hard to misplace items and tucked around them very carefully wrapped in bubble wrap were small things like they were literally that big and they are pendants so what I call tiny prints and they're basically uh, necklace pendants or, or you can turn them into keychains or whatever they're charms but they're of my work tiny sized and it takes me a long time to make these things I mean I, I print it out yes uh, thank goodness for machinery and uh, I might have hand painted a couple um, you know and then I go through all this resin process some you know some would have 14 karat gold uh, metal you know I don't do them a lot, and they could be considered rare, and they're handmade by the artist, and so they were worth considerably more than I was going to sell them for, and I had a feeling about those, but I thought I'd give it a shot, mm. and when the package arrived, within two days, the large items were in the system, and I noticed that the small items were not listed yet, so I contacted Amazon, and I was like, what's up? And I was told, wait until, you know, September the 5th. Well, it's September the 5th. And I am not surprised. I have an email. Well, a thing. Uh, you get to see some of my mess because I've been moving stock around again. And uh, it's basically, but well, I can't move that. Ha, ha, ha. It's not lovely. Anyway, yes, we solved the issue inaccurate item counts on all of the tiny items that have lost my items basically or insert excuse here and I'm expected to resolve this and ask for an investigation I know what's going to happen they're going to say oh it wasn't there or it wasn't the right amount or we'll send it back or any other amount of excuses I double checked and double counted and I know that I had the correct amounts because when you uh, prepare your stuff to go to the warehouse you print out a sticker sheet and it has a barcode for every single item and I had no leftover items and I didn't have to print twice so everything was accurate when I shipped it out it's on them so my response to them is and I'm going to quote for you these items were counted more than once and tucked in around the larger items that made it into inventory say they, they were small so perhaps they are on the floor being as all of the tiny, easy-to-miss items are missing from the box. I don't expect any help from that because 
you know, let, let's look at this. Let's say that something dishonest was going on here. Um, no one's going to own up to that. That's their job. That's their ability to get another job. Let's say that it's the conditions that my friend who used to work in the Amazon warehouse told me about, and it was just slammed around, and things were things fell out on the floor. They're not going to admit to that. They're not even going to look for that. The floor's been swept by now. Things have been thrown away or pocketed or whatever. Uh, and I, I refuse to accept that the count was inaccurate because of how it played out whenever I put when I assembled the box. So nothing's going to resolve from this, and if it does, I will be mildly surprised, and I will be, I will gleefully give you a happy report. But so far, it's looking like the rumors are true that uh, sending your stuff to the warehouse is very, very dicey when it comes to the seller central side. And that is my report. Now I'm going to go take some cold medicine and stuff. Yay. Well, first I'm going to find the button to tell it to stop.